Hi everyone, Sherry Canino here and welcome to this week's Stencil Crush Tuesday. This week we're going to be making a couple of ATCs. So I'm pulling out my first stencil and I've cut two sheets of mixed media paper and I'm laying down my first stencil which is called Basket, misting it with some water and then I'm going to use a dry brush and just sprinkle some of these magicals on top. I'm sprinkling a little bit of each of the three colors on top and then I spritz a little more water. I felt like at that point it was a little bit too wet so I did hit it with my heat gun before lifting off my stencil and then I took my other ATC and I laid it directly on top. If you're going for a really crisp image, this is not the technique you want to use. <laughs> you're not going to get a crisp image with this. So I traced and cut out one of Carolyn Doobie's um, butterflies from her uh, butterfly stencil. It's the mask that I used. That's what I was showing you. And so I just laid that basket stencil back down over the cutout and I used some high gloss gel medium and with my palette knife then sprinkling again with the magicals and I did spritz it with a little more water just to activate the magicals a little bit more laid my another ATC on top just to pull some of that off and then lifted the stencil up with my butterfly. Now this should give a resist effect once it dries. So I set it aside to dry and now I'm making some paint with the Magicals. They're like a watercolor or watercolor base powder. So I'm mixing it with some titanium white and I just did a little bit of the pink and a little bit of the orange got a sponge and my next stencil which is large diamond six I have a thing for diamonds so um, <laughs> you'll probably see them a lot in my work or you already have this is a really cool stencil it's kind of got um, you can make it into like an argyle as well and I love the paint that these magicals made um, really soft, soft, subtle paint. Very, very pastel. So now I pulled out the blue and I spritzed my butterfly. It's dry. Um, but some of the magicals actually set on top and it actually did react again with the water, which I was surprised because I thought they would not. But um, it's fine. It worked out fine. I added more blue and just um, dabbed off a little bit. Now I cut out this stamp. I stamped it and cut it out, um, this little fairy stamp. And um, I'm just painting her with some of the magicals and the paint that I've mixed up. I spare you the boring details of watching me do all of that <laughs> and cut most of that out. Isn't she cute? <laughs> Again, I, I like the Magicals, even, even mixed with the paint because they give a much more translucent look, even though I mixed it with the titanium white. Give my butterfly a little edge so it stand out on my card. And you know, I work, when I do ATCs, I do all different sizes. I do not do the typical size, so. <laughs> These are probably not politically correct sizes, but they work for me. I, some of the smaller ones I find a little difficult to work with. So of course, my butterfly and my little fairy, they need a little bit of glitter. And um, any glitter glue or 
however you want to add some glitter works. This is just Hobby Lobby had these on sale or a clearance or AC Moore or somebody, I forget. And so um, I bought some. I bought a bunch of them because they're nice big tubes. So last weekend I was at an art retreat and I purchased these um, very cool washi tape stamps and so I used them on my cards for some texture just to add a little more visual texture in the background and I'm using my uh, matte gel medium to glue both of my focal points down you know you guys know I always use my fingers and <laughs> by the end of this project my hands were horrendously a mess <laughs> so I, I have a little quote that I cut out from my daily quote calendar seize the day calendar and I have a couple of them I'm just cutting them apart trying to decide where I'm gonna put them on on my cards <clears throat> once I make that decision I'm gluing them down with my Liquitex heavy gel matte medium just using a marker a black marker I think there's a pigma marker I can't remember because I have so many on my table but given my page or my page given the cards a little bit of an edge <clears throat> using my um, black and white paint markers to add some dots um, I was showing you there I really love the crink markers um, they're based in New York City and they are wonderful if you ever feel you want to splurge they're pricey but they're they're really nice markers paint markers Again, just using my charcoal pencil and my black marker to kind of outline the quotes and do some mark making on my little cards. And they are complete. Thanks so much for joining me this week, you guys. It's really always a pleasure to read all of your comments and all the love you always give me. It means so very much. Hope you guys have a fabulous day and I will see you next Tuesday.